I'm Claudio, I run the product and solutions team at CenturyLink for EMEA. Organisations are considering hybrid WAN because there's enormous levels of internet flowing through their WAN. Um, much of that are critical applications and quite valid and they want a cost effective way to scale their bandwidth but not lose the performance you have with MPLS. So with a hybrid WAN you get the best of both worlds. SD-WAN complements a hybrid WAN by taking the legacy pressures out of the way WANs used to work, which is being statically configured and not very adaptive. So the pressures we're putting on the hybrid WAN is to operate at the application layer so we can differentiate applications. Remembering internet applications may look just the same as casual internet traffic at the network layer. So we need something that can operate at the application layer, make routing decisions at the application layer, and, and prioritize those internet applications and secure everything in an integrated manner. SD-WANs make hybrid WAN work better in that way. You know, everyone's expecting benefits. Put on a magic piece of technology in the, in the network and expect immediate benefits. But if you put an SD-WAN over a badly constructed physical network, you're just gonna end up with a bad network. So it's really important that SD-WAN is sitting on a good underlay network that's fit for purpose. So SD-WAN is still quite a new technology and we st started seeing the first deployments a few years ago. And they were very simple hub-spoke retail-like network environments where it was important to increase the agility of turning up and down sites and taking the friction out of change management from changing global policies across all of those sites. Now we're seeing SD-WAN being used in complex hybrid WAN environments where cloud enablement is a really strong requirement and SD-WANs are just managing to do that now and they're starting to offer true value in that space. But in the future, over the next couple of years, we're going to see SD-WANs working a lot closer with the underlay connectivity because SD-WANs today are just an overlay technology. Uh, you've still got a static uh, network underneath, a static network of connectivity. So we're going to see orchestration of the network underlay work better with the SD-WAN so that we have dynamic underlay. That means we can bring sites up in minutes instead of months. Global customers should, should look for partnership from their providers, true partnership. That means consult with your partners right at the beginning, bring them in early into the process and really discuss what your requirements are. A good service provider has done this before, knows how to get down to your root needs and build a solution that addresses those needs. Let's not trip up over the technology and find someone who has the right expertise, will deal with you, give you the time, sit down with you, and will design a solution that will flex over time and go on that transformation journey with you.